Welcome back to the channel for another video about Doge. Thank you so much for tuning on for another episode. The Doge community, the Doge army, how are you guys feeling a day before the Doge father premiere on SNL? I know I'm excited, I know you guys are too. Let's talk about what's going on right now. Where do I think we're going in the near term? Let's dive into it. But, before we get into that guys, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications. With that said, let's begin. I got something massive for you. A Dogecoin theme song is coming soon. It's already under production with one purpose, to bring awareness about Dogecoin, building the community and growing the community day by day, and person by person. This movement is just starting to let people know how Dogecoin is going to be the future currency of Earth. Not just that, but is the people's currency. So guys, if you're excited about that, let me know in the comments below. I want to see your guys' feedback. If you're excited about this as much as I'm, let's make this go viral. Smash the like button, comment and share everywhere in social media, with your friends and your communities, and spread the word. So. I'm so excited about that, let me know what do you think in the comments below. This thing is so cool and it's going to be so amazing to see it become a reality. It's something amazing, something beautiful. But, let's talk about Doge now guys. It's coming into 60 cents. Today was a solid consolidation. I'm getting exactly what I wanted to see today. We are sitting on that 60 cents today, although there was a little setback. We are sitting on an $80 billion market cap, and the 24 hours volume is sitting at $21 billion. So, what do I think is going on guys? I'm telling you, we had the catalysts earlier this week. That gave us a boost. Now we are looking at a solid consolidation around 60 cents, which is extremely bullish. And, what do I think is gonna happen in short term? What I want to see is that as that as the stock market starts to close around 5 p.m. Eastern Time, I want to see Dogecoin and the crypto market as a whole gain some momentum, see the volume starts flowing in. That signals to me that we are still super super bullish. So, around late this evening, I want to see the crypto market gain a push, and I want the volume start increasing. I want to start into tomorrow around 65 cents. If we get Dogecoin to around 70 cents tomorrow morning, guys get ready, the Doge father will deliver and that $100 billion market cap is inevitable and we're coming for it. So, that's what I think we're seeing now. Everything is looking bullish. There is no fear in the market. I hope you guys are excited, and if you're excited too, make sure to smash the like button. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'm dropping a special video later tonight. I talked with a tax expert and I made a video on some ways you can use to avoid paying taxes on your Dogecoin gains, or any other crypto gains for that matter. Good luck and happy trading. Tesla bought about $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin a couple of months ago. This was a big news back then. But recently, and during first quarter of 2021. They sold about $250 million worth of Bitcoin for a profit of $101 million from that sale. Right now, they still have about $2.5 billion worth of Bitcoin left, according to their securities filings as part of their investments. They still have $2.5 million worth of Bitcoin according to their chief financial officer. They said that a lot of companies, and them included were looking for a way to generate a return on their investment in something that they could easily get out their money out of there if the need rises. And they said that's why they turned to Bitcoin. Because with Bitcoin, they could easily access it if they ever need to use the money for something else, and it's very easy for them to do it. They generated a significant return on the money in the meantime, and while you know they can expect to get nearly 100% gain in just a matter of a couple of months every single time, this time it worked out very well. They're going to be looking to expand this into other cryptocurrencies down the road as well. Right now, it's only in Bitcoin, but potentially, they've spoken about other cryptos. Who knows? They could put money into Dogecoin, but most likely, we probably wouldn't see it going to Dogecoin anytime soon. 
Cause remember, they're not going to do a really risky investment because they are a publicly traded company. They need this money for investments building factories, investments into research and development, and things like that. So, they're not going to do something very risky. So, they'll probably stick to the top 3 or top 4 cryptos out there. Right now, they're only in Bitcoin, but we could see this expand over the next couple of years into other crypto. If we did see it going to Dogecoin, that would be huge though, but most likely, just into Bitcoin and down the road, into Ethereum. However, keep in mind that Elon Musk is going to host SNL on May 8th. A couple of days ago he tweeted something related to Dogecoin and SNL. So, we may get a big reveal and surprise from Elon Musk. To be updated with the latest news about Dogecoin, make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Also, consider to like this video cause it helps tremendous with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. With that said, have a nice day and happy trading. Tesla bought about $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin a couple of months ago. This was a since 2009 when Bitcoin came into existence, numerous crypto came and vanished. So far, Bitcoin is the most widely known in the world. In this in-depth article, we will discuss why Dogecoin will not fail. When crypto started, a lot of people made fun of it. In fact, Dogecoin was started as a joke and to make fun of the cryptocurrency. Dogecoin is unique in the crypto world. As it was created as a joke, over the years, a community grew up surrounding it. Though Dogecoin never crossed one cent per coin until 2021, the Dogecoin community never gave up this crypto. The current crypto world is the real Wild West. Numerous actors are trying to promote their coin and profit from it. So, one crypto community doesn't like another cryptocurrency because of their vested interest. However, almost all communities hate Dogecoin. As Dogecoin gains popularity, some crypto communities become agitated. They argue that Dogecoin is a joke, has no use case, and has an unlimited supply. Therefore, there's no way it will take off. However, people fail to realize, Dogecoin survived all these years even though it had no monetary value. It did not even have a value of 1 cent per coin until 2021. So, from the start, people are in Dogecoin not for money but for the community. Over the years, many cryptocurrencies failed because the community abandoned them. Most people want to make money. So, generally, they buy crypto and hype it. When the price goes up, initial investors bail out and go to another crypto. In the early days, people did it with Dogecoin too. However, later Doge managed to create a strong following. Since then, people are in it for fun, not for money. Because of this vibrant community, Dogecoin survived and will survive. Anyone can create a cryptocurrency. But the real challenge to convince people to adopt the crypto. The Dogecoin community was strong even when the coin had no real monetary value at all. It's why the hatred for Dogecoin and other crypto communities is perplexing. Because they don't see any economic value in it, but they fail to realize that money is not everything for the Dogecoin community. They are in it for fun. The main criticism of Dogecoin is that it has an unlimited supply. That's why it is inflationary currency, thus, valueless. But it's an incorrect argument. Let's compare Dogecoin with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a limited supply. The cap for Bitcoin is 21 million. Until today, around 19 million Bitcoins have been created. It's estimated that the last Bitcoin will be created around 2040. This perception of limited supply gives Bitcoin inherent value. Every day more and more people learn about Bitcoin and want a piece of this coin. But as the supply is limited, the price will keep going up. It's like the diamond industry. Even though diamonds are not that rare, their price is high because of artificial scarcity. People in the Bitcoin community don't even hide it. They want the price to go up to make a profit off it. The Dogecoin was created to mock this artificial scarcity. Dogecoin is not wildly unlimited. It has a cap of 5 billion Dogecoin creations per year. As of writing this article, there are around 135 billion Dogecoin in circulation. At the rate of 5 billion coins per year, it would take another 27 years to double this amount, then, it would take another 54 years. In the fiat currency world, inflation varies wildly. On the other hand, Dogecoin has a fixed currency creation rate of 5 million Dogecoin per year. Therefore, each year the inflation rate goes down. Though Dogecoin has an unlimited supply, the actual inflation rate goes down, making this coin deflationary. So, 
Those who criticize Dogecoin for having an endless supply are wrong. They are missing the bigger picture, but, why is there an unlimited Dogecoin supply? That's because the creators of Dogecoin chose unlimited 5 billion per year coin supply for a few reasons. Bitcoin was created with a cap limit. It has several negative implications that Dogecoin solves. It is estimated that until 2021, almost 20% of Bitcoin is lost forever. In the future, we will lose more coins. There's no mechanism to replace those coins. So, what would happen after 50 years? As there will be only 21 million Bitcoins and billions of people worldwide, is there any possibility that Bitcoin will ever become mainstream? In the crypto world, there are no centralized systems. Instead, thousands of powerful computers set up by individuals process crypto transactions. These individuals spend a lot of money to set up and run those powerful computers. These individuals and computers are collectively called miners. So, why will miners process Bitcoin transactions? It's because they have several incentives. First of, Bitcoin senders pay transaction fees to miners to process Bitcoin transactions. Second, miners get rewards in Bitcoin from the network for completing their work measured in blocks. Simple explanation. As time passes, processing Bitcoin transactions would become harder, would require more powerful computers and electricity. On the other hand, Bitcoin block rewards will decrease to zero when the Bitcoin number reaches 21 million. The Bitcoin mining revenue is already negligible. What will happen when the reward goes to zero? At the time, the only revenue source for Bitcoin miners would be transaction fees. Over the years, the Bitcoin transaction fee has increased steadily. The cost is already high. In the future, it will be prohibitively higher. As a result, it would be harder for Bitcoin to become a mainstream daily driver cryptocurrency. Think about it, would you pay a $15 transaction fee to buy a $1 coffee? On the contrary, Dogecoin miners will always get rewarded from the network's 5 billion coin supply. As a result, Dogecoin has a far lower transaction fee compared to Bitcoin. Moreover, Dogecoin transactions are faster than Bitcoin. On average, the Bitcoin network takes 8 minutes to clear a transaction, whereas the Dogecoin network takes less than a minute. It's true that Bitcoin is rare. Most of the cryptocurrencies are designed this way. It's a rare collectible. As a result, it encourages hoarding. People buy and hold Bitcoin in hopes that the price would go up. Then they can sell it for a profit. On the other hand, Dogecoin is designed for spending. Though it's deflationary in the long term, still because of the short-term inflation, it encourages spending. Therefore, Dogecoin is a better cryptocurrency than Bitcoin for real-world usage. For example, instead of keeping money in a bank account, most people invest that money. As a result, more significant economic growth comes from those investments. People do it because of US dollar inflation. At the same time, people buy and hold gold in hopes that the gold price would go up. Similarly, Dogecoin encourages spending, whereas Bitcoin encourages hoarding. The Dogecoin community grew not because of greed but because they believe in it. We believe Dogecoin has a higher probability of becoming mainstream currency because of all the reasons discussed above. Since 2009 